Hello, welcome to Agri Today on ARSN Television, Abuja, Nigeria. I am Khadija Oluwatoyin. I mean, you know how it is on the program where we bring to you happenings and latest as regards agriculture. And this week of the program takes us to uh, the stakeholders meeting uh, with the federal government as regards the implementation of the second phase of the 2023 and 2024 dry season farming. At the meeting, the stakeholders uh, talked about uh, how they are going to go about the project through the National Agricultural Growth Scheme and Agri Project NAGS dash ap to boost production we know how it is when it comes to dry season farming this is a time where uh, there's less water and of course uh, irrigation farming is part of ways in ensuring that um, food sustainability is being uh, you know achieved let's listen to uh, the minister of agriculture stay tuned i am delighted to welcome the executive governor of ekiti state your excellency abiodun abayomi oyebanji to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. Your visit signifies the strong partnership and collaboration between the state and the federal government in our collective efforts to ensure food security and agricultural development in Nigeria. I would like to also express that we are delighted to identify with you, your government, and the good people of Equity State and to also let you know that we are aware that the agricultural landscape of Equity State has experienced notable and some unprecedented achievements since your administration in office just about a year ago. The Equity State Youth Agriculture Program that is creating jobs and wealth for the teaming youth in Equity as well as the various interventions in provisions of inputs for the farmers in the production of crops and agricultural value chains alike. In recognition of these and consequent upon your efforts, evident in the mobilization of farmers and other resources available at the state level towards the renewed hope for food security agenda of the federal government we are further ready to collaborate and partner with you. As we look forward, it is imperative for us to tackle some of the challenges observed during the ongoing wheat dry season farming in the 15 participating states. We would want to avoid the reoccurrence in the second phase for rice, maize, and cassava and ensure that they do not impede our agricultural development agenda. These challenges include reported cases of round tripping, in connivance with agro-dealers, and poor validation of farmers' data in parts of the participating states. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is fully committed to addressing these issues of round tripping and poor validation of farmers' data. We are dedicated to implementing stringent measures in the forthcoming dry and wet season farming for rice, maize, and cassava, and to ensure transparent distribution of target genuine farmers. Collaboration, therefore, with states, local governments, traditional rulers, local farmers associations, NGOs, and relevant MDAs will be crucial in achieving the desired objectives. We seek the support of all stakeholders in the agricultural sector to overcome the challenges and ensure a successful intervention despite time constraints. The second phase of the dry and wet season farming intervention is expected to commence this month and we are determined to make it a success. I would also like to extend our profound appreciation to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR for his unwavering support in our quest for food security in the country. The ministry is focused on ramping up massive production of staple crops using technology and mechanization to achieve this goal. We are grateful for the support and guidance of Mr. President as we work towards a more food secure Nigeria. Furthermore, I would like to reiterate that the ministry is fully aligned with the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President, 
but I am a Tinub GCFR. We are poised to implement our program in line with his vision for the agricultural sector. We are determined also to drive in agricultural transformation, enhancing productivity, and ensuring that our farmers have the necessary support to thrive. Our goal also includes ensuring food security and driving down food inflation. In conclusion, I once again extend a warm welcome to the Executive Governor of Ekiti State, His Excellency Abiodun Abayomi of Oyebanji, and thank him for his efforts in agricultural development. I am confident that through our continued collaboration and dedication, we will overcome current challenges that we face and achieve our collective goals for a more prosperous agricultural sector in Nigeria. at the event which include the governors of Ondo State and that of Ekiti uh, you know bear their minds on what they think uh, this roadmap would be uh, to the people of their state knowing that um, these states are uh, basically agricultural driven states let's listen to them as well and to also congratulate you honorable ministers for uh, what you have done within the period uh, you assumed the saddle in this ministry I stumbled on the ministry policy document and uh, they are so rich. And what I did is just to yield it to the Commission of uh, Greek in Equity States. And um, I, I directed them to align it with our policies and programs. So we have done that. Uh, we, we are on the same page uh, with you. And I've been in office for a year and two months. And during that period, SARS, uh, we have tried our best to provide support for our farmers. The first thing is to change the orientation of farming by letting them know that, look, a Greek itself, farming is a business and science. That is not the normal whole and court classes. We are changing the orientation. We have provided support with respect to land clearing and land preparation. We have got improved seedlings for them. We have connected them with grants and loans that, uh, that doesn't have too much interest on. We are trying to court middlemen so that uh, we link them to aggregators directly, so that they can, they, can, they can prosper doing this business. In most countries, farmers are the richest, you know, but here they are the poorest, simply because they work for the middlemen. So we've tried to, to cut that one, to cut that one off. But you know, they fight back too, and we are providing infrastructure. Luckily, we are now, ramp is going to take effect in the equity state, so we are going to provide infrastructure with respect to um, good roads, making uh, rural life convenient for them, access to electricity. We are also doing a lot of rural electrification, connecting our rural communities to the national grid, because the equity state is of national grid. We are doing that, and the beauty of that is once electricity is stable, small, small industry can tap into it, because the cost of diesel it's also prohibitive. So we are also in collaboration with a lot of our Greek institutes for knowledge transfer to also ensure that they know the right skills of agriculture. So we, we are in partnership with IITA and a lot of other uh, institutions just to ensure that we provide external support for, for our powers across the value, Greek value chain. But we realize, if, we realize that there's a limit we can do on our own. And we need to handshake with this ministry so that we can scale up whatever we are doing. 
So my visit here today actually is to explore area of collaboration with the ministry in the following areas, uh, honorable ministers. We want to be part of your agro, agro pocket scheme, the dry and wet season farming. Um, we, are, we, we, are prepared, we are prepared for that. And we also want to see if it's possible for you to assist us with mechanization and tractorization. Because in the kit, what we have done is to, subsi is to subsidize uh, tractor ironing to our, for, for our farmers. We want to to hire tractor with 50% of the cost. The government pays 50% of the cost. And it's a lot of money. And we, and we now discovered that we had an influx of people wanting to, uh, to do it, and that there's a budget limitation. Yeah. So it can discourage them. When they register that now 50% is not coming, we have tried it for one year and it has worked. And we also broken the chain of tenure's attachment to land, the land tenure system. We've aggregated them into corporate society. They're ready for cluster farming. But when they're ready, the lands are not there. You know, when you, when you clear the land, you still have to prepare it and develop it for them. You have to give them uh, improved seedlings. You have to, to, to provide external services. And if you are doing cluster farming, if I'm moving you from community, to community A to community B to come and farm, I should be able to provide your accommodation for at least for some days so you don't, you don't have to go back. And it must be comfortable. So the roadmap is clear in equity, you know, but we believe that if you have a big brother in this ministry, we'll be able to, to, to do more. And we also look at the possibility of a takeoff of the Okiago, Okiago Kashu project. We've been on this for long, and uh, we also look at the possibility of a support in the area of livestock support. We, we have tried that. We had what we call a Kitty State Broiler Scheme. What we did with that scheme is, there, there, this, this abandoned farm settlement in Adoikiti, in Nerifun. And uh, we, we took it over, we innovated it. So we got some of our young guys that are interested in livestock farming. We connected them with AMO. AMO is a leading uh, agri uh, livestock uh, uh, vendor in, 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 in Oyo State. And they did the first circle. They made profit. They shared 30% of the profit. They put the rest into cooperative. And I was impressed. So when I went there, I saw them. They had some challenges. We tried to, to support them. They've done the second circle, and they made bigger profit than. So I'm trying to take them to another facility. We are talking to Bino Wenan to list the other facility in Ikare. That one we do 40,000 broilers. You know, they've given it to us. We have the cost. We have moved. We have moved there to renovate and provide security for them. But the problem now is because they've made profit twice. Many people are now listening. Yes. Um, but, but, but we don't have facility. Yeah. You know, so, so we have done proof of con I can come here today and tell you, because we have done it twice. And I told my agri commissioner, let's do it twice. Let's burn our fingers. Let's understand the challenges. So we can scale up. We have done it twice. And, 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 and I will not mind the left of department to come and look at what we are doing. You know, uh, honestly, I was reading your interview this morning where you refer to some people as portfolio farmer. That is part of our problems. Because the real farmers don't get access to all these interventions. Yes. yes. They don't. It goes to political farmers, and they take all the benefits, and they go away with it, and nothing happens. So in Ekiti State, the first thing we have done is just to do a data mine of the real farmers. We know where they are. There's a GPS. We know their farms. You know they are farms. So if an intervention is coming, if it gives you any name from a kitty state, be sure that these are real farmers. And you can locate them on the touch of a button. But the challenge now is you cannot get this far and they now ask for support and you cannot give it to it's going to discourage them. Yes. So that means that, that is why we are here. Yes. And we have gone through the ministry policy direction in line with the renewable agenda. If you're able to implement it, sir. Nigerians will give you an award. That is true. And I'm sure that most of my colleagues also will still come and be, and be putting under pressure. Because agri is the way to go. In a Kitty State, agri is the largest contributor to our GDP. That is the truth. And we have not we have not tapped into the fullness of the possibilities in the agri sector. If we get it right, we create wealth, we create jobs, we take the youth of the streets, it reduces insecurity. So, so I, I, I'm, I'm just here, Honorable Minister, to let you know that um, we are ready to partner with you, and that um, 
we are also ready to be used as a, as a guinea pig for any of your experiments. You know, you know we, 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 we are ready. If you are looking for state to use for guinea pig, just come to Ekiti. You know, you know. And we don't have problem with, with, with land holding Ekiti. You know, because um, the farmers there have seen what, what is possible. And to God be the glory, we've had their trust. So whenever we tell them that, look, do this for us, they do. Before I came here this morning, sir, one of our invest, uh, investor, biggest investors in the agri, agri sector called me. And he shared his experience with me. We used to clear lands before. We just clear lands, um, just clear for clearing sake, not based on anything. We now discover that when we clear, we clear for people that are not farmers. So they will get the land, collect it for. This guy now wants, this guy is farming the kitchen. Yeah. He has a farm. He doesn't have land to plant. So this this uh, what portfolio farmers yes. they are now approaching him that look we have to see your food for land yeah. come and rent from us and these are lands cleared by government you know so these are the challenges and I now discovered that those people have agents in my own ministry of agri so they will take it in coll in collusion with some staff in my ministry and they will hold the land and the ministry will now tell them that this investor is looking for land. So these are challenges that uh, we have, but we know that we can we can learn from the experience of this of, of, of the minister of Agri with your, with your officials. What I will intend to see after this meeting sir, is just for us to set up a structure to take this further, so my team from it can come here and across the value chain and, and discuss our agri policies with you and look at areas of collaboration. Because the problem is agri also is time is time banned. You know, so, so so we don't we don't have much time to, to waste. As early as next week, if, if I have your permission, my team will be here to sit down with you so that uh, we cross the teeth and dot the eyes and we move forward. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mr. Minister, let me first and foremost uh, thank you for giving us this very important opportunity to discuss with you based on the issues that uh, I can say directly affect us in Kevin kind of State. One being Agrigarian state and also we operate uh, government friendly as far as uh, farmers and agriculture is concerned. Uh, like you know, Kibbe state is an agrarian state. God has blessed us with a very fertile land that we can grow not only rice and grow wheat, maize, millet, and uh, guinea When we came, based on the importance we attached to farming, my administration has purchased fertilizer was 2.8 billion to distribute to farmers free of charge. And because of that, distributing the fertilizer at a very right time, our farmers during the harvest have harvested their crop more than uh, three years back. So it is a clear testimony that uh, our farmers are ready to farm. And uh, I can assure the minister that every state can feed this nation, inshallah. And also, my administration last year, because of the issue of food security, the priority of President Bola Ahmed Tenewu, and the priority of this ministry. My administration have purchased 320 trucks of assets and we distributed it to our people free of charge. We are doing this thing because we want to encourage our people to go back to farm. My first priority is agriculture. The second is my constituency in education. 
The third one is security, to secure the state, secure the lands, so that uh, farmers will go back to farm, and farm without uh, any fear. Uh, Mr. Minister, I think uh, by next week or so, Kevin State has already purchased solar farms. 6,000 because of the issue of uh, pump price increase. We have purchased, we want to purchase uh, 12,000. But to available, we have 6,000 that we want to distribute to our farmers. And I want to assure you that uh, uh, we use a criteria by cluster system so that uh, our farmers will be able to get and go back to farm and farm. We don't have anything more than to provide food for our people and for the nation. So therefore, this, our administration will do everything possible to ensure that we create an overly environment for our farmers. <coughs> we'll commence the distribution and also including the flower teller. All these ones, Kirby State purchased them. I think we have expended about uh, uh, five billion. About five billion as a face face. And I want to assure you that we will continue. What we need is we want to partner with the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Agriculture. Because I think it will be better to partner and all the states should partner rather than this state will go this way, the other one will go another way. I think it's better to come together. I was uh, visiting ministries, and this is the only ministry that have every section of agri, they have a director. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, Honorable Minister, let me uh, thank you and uh, tell you that Cabin State is open for you and the ministry, and in whatever way. We want us to come in and uh, partner and consolidate the uh, issue of food security because there is no way that we can move forward without uh, addressing the issue of food security. According to the minister, the short-term priority actions 2023 to 2024 uh, seeks to make significant investments in animal feed crop fodder and pastoral production as an antidote to the farmers and herders clashes by focusing the development of paddocks, foliage and fodder estates equipped with necessary facilities for all year round production. On that note, we'll say uh, that's it on the program for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it and of course uh, you've learned uh, so much as regards the second phase of the dry season farming. From ARCN Television, Abuja, Nigeria, I am Khadija Uluwato, I'm insane. Catch ya.